Well, Tropical Storm Sandy was not a direct hit to South Florida or to the city of Fort Lauderdale, but it actually hovered over the Bahamas for about a week. Um, that coupled with some high tides that we got, we were getting um, just waves and wind uh, really for about a week. It was, it was a beating. And we had to kind of push back the, 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 the sand and, and just to make the roads passable. Um, a month later, we experienced uh, another high tide. And on Thanksgiving morning, 2012, um, four blocks of A1A uh, actually collapsed. Whenever there's a, an event, an emergency, uh, a disaster, a lot of times it's, it's a wake-up call. Events like that really kind of trigger that, that kind of in, in information and that awareness, I think. On October 8th, 2014, during one of the highest tides of the year, Suzanne and the Public Works Department of the City of Fort Lauderdale went on a field trip to observe the effects of sea level rise. Dr. Nancy Gassman, Public Works Director, has been working to improve the city's sustainability program. For a city that's 100 years old, the infrastructure that controls our stormwater management is being modernized every day. One of these improvements is being made through the installation of tidal valves. The city has planned to install 36 of them in the most vulnerable parts of the community. Tidal valves are also called backflow preventers, and they essentially act like a one-way valve. They let the stormwater come into the stormwater system and then drain out, but they don't allow for the salt water to move up the drainage system. Tidal valves create one tool in our challenge against sea level rise. And they, they provide an extension of the stormwater system. The stormwater systems were designed for a certain time and a certain sea level, but the sea level is rising. And so what the tidal valves do is they allow that useful life of that infrastructure to be extended. These extreme high tides that we're experiencing are kind of the ultimate experience of sea level rise in, in our residents' lives. When they experience it personally, when their backyard floods, when they're driving through a puddle, that's the moment that they start to connect the kinds of things that they're seeing on the news with something that's happening in their neighborhood, in their lives. Um, raising, raising the seawalls along an entire neighborhood, um, you have to work with your neighbors to make that happen, but that's another opportunity to, to reduce some of the impacts when the tides are coming over the seawalls. And again, just raising your awareness so that certain times of year you know that you're going to have flooding events or you're going to have a backyard that's going to flood because you live on a canal and you have a low seawall. 